I am feeling really good right now. I hope I can make it through the last one. Which was magnificent, magnificent. For the record. Hi everybody, we are at which winery? Uh, Wagner uh, Vineyard <laughs> mm. uh, Winery, also a restaurant and cafe on site. So we are starting with this winery to kick up, to kick off our um, Cyanic Lake Winery. Um, part of our RV series. We were just mm -hmm. at Walking mm -hmm. Glens earlier, which you probably saw in last episode. And now we're gonna spend the rest of our afternoon visiting wineries. Don't worry, I will be the most, the one that mostly tasting because Rob is driving from winery to yeah, winery. Only like eight or nine glasses I'm gonna have. <laughs> no, I don't really drink. No, he doesn't. <laughs> um, but we're gonna head on in, uh, so come. <laughs> Okay, so we were late for our wine tasting, but you can do flights and then they'll give you a credit, which is really great. Um, so we are here and waiting for our wine flight. The wine flights, these are the pre-selected options or you can customize your own. Customizing your own would be a little bit more expensive. Um, so I did the perfectly red because I'm in love with red wine and then I did the dual, um, the duels in order to try uh, a few different things. Okay, so this is the dual duos. Uh, so this is a dry rose. So let's try this. It smells very light and sweet and airy. My guess is she's gonna say every wine tastes good today. Why would you even say that? <laughs> um, this one's okay. <laughs> 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 Guys, I just want to let you know, I'm more of a stronger and, and dry, not so fruity. This is extremely light, and I, I knew it when I sm smelled it. <laughs> she doesn't know what she's doing today. Why are you drinking it like that? Right, it doesn't even taste like wine. Oh, it tastes like wine. It's like a buzz juice. Yeah. A buzz juice. <laughs> oh, cool. I'll drink to that one before I get into the uh, into the RV. <laughs> okay, still on the duos. This is the Cabernet F Franc. Uh, so, red. I am a huge red wine my, drinker. My, my guess is she'll <laughs> like this one too. I, I said the other one was okay. Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> I like that one. This mm. one's really good. Mm. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> We got two more wineries to go. Um, but so far, Wagner has been really, really nice. The atmosphere is really great with the deck. Um, I think it might start to be drizzling soon. Um, but this is actually really nice. And having that option of a flight and not having a wine tasting appointment, this is still, to me, like a tasting. Um, so this is a really nice like first stop. cut it short so obviously we made it back to the RV it started pouring which we were in on our way here it just seems like the cloud that is raining caught up to us so we're gonna head to our next winery um, we kind of ended that one really quick again sorry for the quick abruption but we kind of grabbed all our lenses and all our electronics that were sitting out in the open on that deck and kind of headed for cover um, so on to the next one of this wine trail. Let's go. So we have smooth sailing ahead of us. In front of us, we see the clear blue sky. So hopefully we're running away from that uh, 
that very dark cloud that was raining upon everybody's parade. So on to the next winery. Okay guys, so we are at our second winery. Cause she could surely use another <laughs> drink. <laughs> Not gonna lie, now I can't feel my lips or my tongue. Um, I'm super lightweight, but that's okay. This is what this trail is all about. It's all about wine. Um, and who knew you could find something like this right in New York? Um, so we are, did I say where we were? Yes, three, 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 <laughs> three brothers. Three brothers. And Rob asked me if it was actually three brothers. <laughs> there is, there is a whole bio that you can find online. Unfortunately, I don't remember off of the top of my mm -hmm. head right now. She can't remember much right <laughs> now. <laughs> but uh, every winery that we visit, I will leave uh, the link to them down below in the description bar. Um, so we're gonna head on in. We're gonna visit two rooms. This one has a lot of different rooms. Um, and they also have wine slushies which we are going to try mm. and also cider a uh, hard cider so I'm hoping we can try that as well uh, hopefully we can pull through and make it <laughs> I'll be fine <laughs> let's go So Three Brothers to me, not to Rob, is like a campus. They have different buildings that host different wineries and different types of wines. So as you can see, we are going to the wine slushy one. So excited to try something different, come on. So we are finally in one of the uh, wineries at Three Brothers. So we actually got the wild side flight. So this is the Wanderlust Sparkling. Um, so it is kind of like a white clear wine. So we're gonna try that right now. Oh, it smells really sweet. <laughs> That's really good. That is a really, really, really good. It smells like farts to me. It, it brings back memories to Iceland. <laughs> it's not the best smelling wine, but we're gonna taste it right now. They're falling apart. Oh, I know. That's the thing I hate for If farts had a taste, <laughs> this would be it. it smells like farts and tastes like diarrhea. So what's really great about this specific winery within Three Brothers, it comes with wine slushies. So we're gonna try that right now. It comes with a flight. So with all these wines, it does, um, it's included. So let's try this. Guys, it has to be one of the most delicious things I've ever tried. It's like in my top five. It is so good. I'm gonna try to take one of these to go because it's so good. It's refresh refreshing, it's sweet. You taste a little bit of the wine, but the wine's a little bit on the sweeter side. It's just honestly so good. You have to get this. Okay, so we were here at the Slushy Hut. Um, so we wanna try some hard ciders and root beers. So we're gonna go to War Horse, which is up this way, right? All right, let's go. All right, so we're at War Horse, uh, where we are getting uh, cider. Hard cider. Hard cider <laughs> of all sorts. So this is red apple bombshell peach lemonade. That should be something special. Strawberry tangerine, raspberry hard cider, cherry lemonade, and I don't even know what this is. Appalosa hard cider slushy, which... Uh, I'm sure she's gonna want <laughs> behind the camera. It's good, right? Delicious. Okay, so we obviously finished all of them. 
Rob is not drinking because he is driving. So I did all this except this one because to me, this is the cherry lemonade and to me this tastes literally like medicine. Rob took a sip and he enjoyed it. <laughs> But I can't do it guys like that to me. It's just like straight up medicine. Thanks, but no thanks We are on our way to the next brewery. Sorry if I'm squinting the uh, uh, the sun is like bright in my eyes um, So we're leaving three brothers heading back into our RV that says I love camping and Yeah Our last one We're on our way like we said, we are on our way to our last winery. I am feeling really good right now. I hope I can make it through the last one. Okay, so we are at our last winery, which is the uh, Bell Hearse Castle. So it's a hotel, restaurant, a wedding venue, everything. And it also has a winery. So we're gonna go in and this is, again, our last stop. the cheese and wine pairing so this is the second cheese this is another gouda cheese so the first cheese we tried was parmesan and gouda and just to let you know i love gouda cheese so i may be biased in saying this but we're gonna try it right now it's really good So our next cheese is a, this cheese on the spoon. It is a goat cheese. I actually like goat cheese. I know it's not for everyone, but I use it in a lot of recipes and stuff like that. So I'm familiar with its taste. So we're gonna try it right now. It's very creamy. Mm. It's right on the spoon. It's really good. This is really, really good. So this is another wonderful pair. This is actually cheddar cheese and then some of the red wine that is very fruity for Rob. It was strong, but I thought it was delicious. Here, let's cheers with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I look majestic as hell right now. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just finished our wine and cheese tasting, which was magnificent. Magnificent. Um, we're gonna sit here and enjoy the moment. Hi, beautiful. Hi. Uh, we're gonna enjoy this moment and then we're gonna head out to get some food uh, at the marina. It should be pretty exciting. Somebody's apparently really tired. Um, really sorry that we cut short yesterday. I know it probably looks extremely choppy, but in all other words, I was I was wasted. <laughs> and so we were supposed to do several things last night after the winery, um, eating at the uh, village marina like restaurant which I would recommend we've been to walking glens before and I would recommend eating there because it has really nice views and like really great like like pub casual food um, and then we were supposed to do s'mores none of that happened because the minute we hit the <laughs> restaurant I was not feeling good so then the minute we went back to the RV site I literally climbed up and I knocked out. I just knocked out. And I don't know what Rob was doing because like he wasn't vlogging any of it, but he said that he, what were you doing last night? While I was like knocked out? Uh, I tested the heater on the water <laughs> uh, so we could have a hot shower this morning, which we did, which was good. And I tested the waste removal system. <laughs> 
So a very eventful night for me last night. Uh, things that you will see in the future. Yeah, he was like a handy man. I just wanted, to, I wanted to, to test it out, make sure it worked for her so she was ready to go in the morning. Because <laughs> I knew it wasn't going to be good. Yeah, I, I was just, honestly, I was just super, super useless. But that's why we cut short, in all honesty. Wasn't feeling good. Um, but... That is it guys. We would 100% recommend the wine trail. Pace yourselves better than what I did. Uh, Cause we just spent the afternoon there. So I mean, if you spend maybe the whole day and then just slowly pace yourself, have a meal. I mean, I wasn't hungry and I, I did have that lunch. Um, but I think I could have done with another meal. Maybe that would have helped. Um, but that is it guys. Uh, so we will see you in the next one today We will be visiting the internal flames falls, which is a United States mystery uh, We'll explain that mystery in our next vlog, but we'll see you there in the next one. Please like comment and subscribe <laughs> Bye guys. Let's travel together in the next one. It has to be one of the coolest things I've ever seen